It is my honor as president of Imperial College London to welcome you to your 2021 postgraduate graduation. Today we join together from around the world to pay tribute to our graduates, celebrate their accomplishments, and provide our best wishes for their future. Graduates, you have completed your degrees in difficult and unprecedented times. You succeeded in meeting the challenges created by the pandemic with spirit, creativity, and determination. You and your professors created new ways of teaching. Many of you volunteered in your communities. All of you kept moving forward when it seemed as if the world had come to a standstill. You receive your degrees at a crucial time, as the world's communities must continue to address the pandemic while beginning to rebuild the future. There is greater need than ever for your knowledge expertise, and talents. Your family and friends have been a source of encouragement and strength during your studies. They share in the joy of today, and our academics who taught, guided, and inspired you also deserve our thanks. We also remember the family members, friends, and colleagues who we have lost or who have suffered the severe effects of the pandemic. Our hearts go out to all who have been affected. There will be brighter days ahead, and you and other members of the Imperial community will be a vital part of creating that brighter future. Again, congratulations. Thank you. I think there's, first, if one thing that, uh, that the pandemic has, has uh, I think, highlighted to us is that we, we need to celebrate every time we can because, you know, we can, we can be facing enormous challenges around us, and so we need to find every reason to celebrate. The postgraduate students have had really a very challenging year, and of course they've had to work in a remote way, as has everyone else. It's been a year that I don't think anyone would have possibly imagined, and yet to have got through this so successfully is a real triumph. I think everyone has managed really, really well, given how difficult the circumstances are. They've really made the best out of what's been a really tough situation for all students. And I think that they've really excelled 
um, as much as they possibly can in the current environment. I think all of our Imperial students, they're unbelievably innovative, so I think that they're pretty good with change and adapting to change, and I think that we've seen that from our student community. It is a fantastic achievement to get a qualification from an institution that's important and impressive as Imperial. It's not just a prestigious degree name that you have on your CV. It's more than that. It's about persevering through something difficult. It's about proving to yourself that you can do it. The graduation really marks a transition and a set of achievements. And I think it's a really important thing to celebrate what people have achieved this year. So I'm really glad that we're able to do this, even if it has to be in remote and virtual terms. And I do hope that, that at least we'll have this virtual ceremony, which allows um, us to recognise the achievements of our students. I think that actually this graduation ceremony is all about bringing people together. I think what really makes Imperial unique is, again, not just the academic side, but actually the community that we have. And I always see Imperial as being such a thriving community. This year was made possible by the exceptional efforts of a very large number of people. And I'd like to thank everybody in the college who's really pulled together to enable this year to happen. I take this opportunity to really not only congratulate the students themselves, but their families behind them and friends who've supported them through this time often at great distance. Become a part of Imperial is a responsibility to help the other part of the people in the world. I hope the graduates will f continue to feel an association with the college uh, and indeed with the faculty. Uh, you're always very welcome to come back. We'll always enjoy seeing you and hearing about your successes. I think you will find that you've been extremely well trained and that you will find interesting jobs, interesting careers and you'll always be part of Imperial College. I think it's important to stay in touch for a multitude of reasons. First and foremost, we just get a lot more done when people work together, and that's easier when like-minded individuals who may have collaborated really well while they were at this university continue to do so afterwards. Well, I am an alum myself of Imperial College. I'm an undergraduate and postgraduate student of Imperial. I've carried that badge with me. I think it's a, a prestigious badge. I think you will meet colleagues other students, other former students, other alum around the world, and there will be a common bond, a common experience. They can look back at this year and see how they reacted, how they were able to overcome the challenges and be successful. And I think that resilience that they were able to show is something that stays for their career. Whatever these circumstances might have deprived you of, by getting through them, you've demonstrated incredible tenacity and resilience, and you should be incredibly proud of that. This year has been such a difficult year, such a challenging year, given all the extra difficulties, all the extra uncertainty, all the extra complexity. I think the students really do deserve an extra pat on the back for, for their achievements. It's been the hardest year of my academic life, I suspect, for students and staff looking back, it will be the hardest year of theirs. So to have got through, to have graduated successfully, to have achieved, that's something to really celebrate. I think we all realise what a tough and challenging year this has been for so many people all over the world, coping with the challenges and sometimes sadnesses caused by the COVID pandemic. And of course, the impact of COVID has made this a particularly stressful and challenging year for all of you. We all recognize and applaud how you've coped with this situation and the determination you've shown in coming through these difficult times successfully. You should feel great pride in what you've achieved and we feel proud of your achievements. Completing a degree at Imperial is not a walk in the park, as you all know. You've had to show determination and many other qualities, as well as intellectual ability. You're graduating today, but you're not leaving Imperial College behind completely. You will always be valued members of our community, so do please stay in touch. Tell us about your future achievements, and I'm sure you will have much to tell. Whatever you choose to do in the future, and you will have many choices, what you've learned at Imperial should stand you in good stead. Over my career, I formed a view of the key ingredients involved 
in achieving success, it comes most readily to those with a burning desire to make things happen, a determination to achieve, and the skills to bring people together. You're all very well equipped to make a positive contribution to our world, whatever your academic background. Whether your future is in medicine, science, engineering, business, or something completely different, you can make a difference. Our world faces many challenges, as you know. You can and will make an impact, whatever you choose to do in the future. I'm sure in your own way you will do so, and we look forward to hearing of your successes in the years ahead. We wish you well for the future, and we congratulate you on being able to graduate today. Well done. Hello, my name is Marcus Perkman, and I'm the Academia Director of the Imperial MBA Suite of Programs. I would like to welcome all of the MBA graduates, as well as their family and friends, to this graduation. Doing an MBA is a major project, and completing it is a real achievement that takes a lot of energy and a lot of perseverance. Therefore, I would really like to congratulate you on this achievement, and I hope you're going to celebrate this by doing something special. Imperial College Business School, Diploma of the Imperial College, Master of Business Administration, Executive MBA. Juliane Albrecht. Elizabeth D Diane Alimena. Martin Antonio Gabriel Azinaro. Vikram Vadwa. Julio Andres Bascur Leiva. Samantha Bonno. Emilian Dan Cartis. Imperial College Business School Prize for the best overall performance in the Executive MBA. Tom Daniel. Matteo De Tomasi. Ruth Donnelly. Gavin Michael Bullard Ferns. Brett Anthony Gibson. Arnaud René Dominique Grandvigné. Daniel Alexander Llewellyn Hanmer. Alistair Hewitt. Rachel Louise Kirkham, Ruhan Nazir, Lee Patrick O'Halloran, Abisola Onigbogi, Yogini Patel, Ian Pegg, Christina Petroskaya, the David Begg Prize for Outstanding Performance in Economics, Julian Portillo Aguilar, Mitra Sahideo, Amit Kumar Singh, Yan Yan Son, Imperial College Business School Prize for the Best End of Year Report on the Executive MBA Program, George Stambulis, Jackie Tang, Joseph Tony, Mikhail Zakharov. Diploma of the Imperial College, Master of Business Administration, Weekend MBA. Clarissa Agnew. Huda Abbas Aamula. Nursa Alpay. Karan Kamal Aswani. Irina Babina. John Woodward Postgraduate Memorial Prize. Tristram Benson, Atanu Patacharji, Samuel Awomi Akablay, Daniel Bodnar, 
Maria Isabel Valerie Bolton Joseph Booth Alex Broad Andrew Broom Chiara Cantoni Ramsey Chehab Silvia Joffi Felix Henry V. Koch Basileos Daras Sharon Dutt Bertwin Rufus Diaz Sean Michael Duffy Colin Fisher Adrian Willem Joseph Franson Kahau Gan Debamalia Gon Chadhuri Leonardo Grazzini James Joseph Greeley Aaron Basak Grusoy Crystal Haroon Roger Herman Chiara Ibba Sher Ali Javid Daphne Kafuru Lax Olua Facey Kemi Kehinde Viktor Petrov Kyuzov Vasileos Lakos Andre Leones Zhang Li Yuan Wan Li William Joseph Allison Marwick the David Berg Prize for Outstanding Performance in Economics the Imperial College Business School Prize for the Best Overall Performance on the Weekend MBA Program Felix Stefan Matman William Henry Barton May Blake McKeown Fabrizio Michaud Mathieu Alexandre Maurice Monchain Nicolas Moss Odumade Odutola Alfred Opeyemi Svetlana Pasika Joe Bramwell Payton Andreas Pawalke Marta Pinto Javan Pine Brown Namrata Rajaguru Robert John Reynolds Harry Rowlinson Philip Schultheis Majid Shabazi Hamdi Shistawi Marcos Sousa Fabio Stevanato Josef Strumsas Andre Swick Chloe May Taylor Tatiana Tikonarova Sierra Toronto Antonella Trezza Castro David Vernon Marta Antunes Yunlu Wu Zheng Zhu Zhu Zong Zhu Diploma of the Imperial College Master of Business Administration Full-Time MBA Angkor Mohammed Al Hadlak Mohammed Ali Bashe Ahmed IBM Entrepreneurial Journey Project Prize Khalid Al Youssef Pichamon Anek Rakul Varun Bakshi Ideo Design Thinking and Innovative Problem Solving Prize MBA Consulting Project Prize Connor Battle Mauro Bruni John Wood with Postgraduate Memorial Prize MBA Consulting Project Prize Oscar Buckle Adam Butler Brenda Carmelino Selena Chung Danish Davar Xavier de Arec Zaballa Joaquin de la Cerda Stephen Ding 
Idea or Design Thinking and Innovative Problem Solving Prize Holly Dobson Margot Fleschler Carly Gerlach Tim Gilboy Edwina Go Arushi Gupta Ayan Gupta Aditya Adiputra IBM Entrepreneurial Journey Project Prize Sam Hatley Imperial College Business School Prize for the best overall performance on a full-time MBA program and Joan Woodward Postgraduate Memorial Prize Marcel Hagenauer Shu Yu Huang Caroline Huber Hoksum Hung Idea Design Thinking and Innovative Problem Solving Prize the MBA Consulting Project Prize Tanat Isare Zhao Zhong Jia Brianna Johnston Akash Kapoor Varun Kartikeyan Imperial Innovation Challenge Prize Talal Kayata Kwaku Korantang Shivanj Kumar Mike Lee Imperial Innovation Challenge Prize Emily Lung Quinn Lee Jialing Lee Jatin Lodia Weston McIntosh Julio Millen Holston Carlos Mora Martinez One Kachukwu Obi Dan O'Connor Jess Oliver IBM Entrepreneurial Journey Project Prize Cameron Orcutt Idea Design Thinking and Innovative Problem Solving Prize Imperial Innovation Challenge Prize Lizzie Petikowski Imperial Innovation Challenge Prize Boris Rino Imperial College Business School Prize for the Best End of Year Report on the Full-Time MBA Program Hal Sherrington Ria Singla Shruti Sena Masahito Takanashi Maxime Berger Imperial Innovation Challenge Prize Sebastien Vidal Isabel Wang Sandy Wang MBA Consulting Project Prize Shuai Wang Vicky Wang David Watkins Idea Design Thinking and Innovative Problem Solving Prize The David Berg Prize for Outstanding Performance in Economics Keja Wei Idea Design Thinking and Innovative Problem Solving Prize MBA Consulting Project Prize Connor Wilson Guan Wu Jing Zhang Lincoln Zhang Margaret Zhao Imperial Innovation Challenge Prize Richard Zhu Diploma of the Imperial College Master of Business Administration Global Online MBA January Intake Mohammed Faisal Abdul Hadi Feruza Abdullah Simon Adetola Adeponle Ahmed Afrozi Kioma Aga Hafid Al Buzaidi Mohammed Al Haidos Gregory Allen Tolupe Arwunmi Ali Swadat Al Obide Connor Blythe Nicole Bullock Kelly Min Ming Chang Nicola Chiara Lester De Leon Snia Eberhard Folashade Ekakiti Federico Evangelista 
John Woodward Postgraduate Memorial Prize, Hannah Emily Evans, Robbie Gozin, Consuela Granata, Oliver Hardshorn, John Woodward Postgraduate Memorial Prize, Aaron Holloway Nahum, Goki Kazama, John Woodward Postgraduate Memorial Prize, Benjamin Kung, Eamon Lanoi, Sylvain Arash Latast, Aribidesi Olumayiva Laval, Richard John Neefberg, Roy Lee, Karen McMillan, the David Bag Prize for Outstanding Performance in Economics, Alessandro Marchesini. Sean McLaughlin, Killian Moot, Karim Moti, Julia Murat, Jessi Jessica Laura Nelson, Ulrich Neumann, Olia Moke Comfort Olapade, Olufayova. Oniki Imperial College Business School Prize for the best overall performance on a global online MBA program. Yi Pan Feride Paspalova Anishka Kritika Prasad Farhan Kureshi Rosa Razif Nathaniel Richards, Duncan James Robertson, Imperial Award for Effective Teamwork, for Going Above and Beyond Academic Expectations, for Independent and Open-Minded Thought, and for Self-Awareness and Active Self-Management, Francis Laurent Maxime Sam, William Schultz, Alison Slade, Wee Chun Tan, Ling Bin Jolin To, Idioma Gladys Uche Eziala, Amandeep Kor Virk, Feliciana Natali Winathan, Karen Wong, Diploma of the Imperial College, Master of Business Administration, Global Online MBA, September Intake. Balima Suad Abu Bakari Abdul Latif Ade Tokunbo Ademola Adeola Oli Oluwayoba Ayobola Ayewole Fatma Saleh Said Al Hashmi Hamad Al Fuzan Anna Cornelia Anderson Samson Azare, Oluwa Sei Ashade, Anthony Ziad Nabil Azar, Taksh Pojak, Nicholas Pantman, Martin Cabrera, Carl Yong Sun Chan, Yami Chuang, Amar Dean, Joseph Esikpemi Edwards, Hock Tech Yu, Brian Farrell, Olusola Fawaihenmi, Damir Karaf, Yelena Glasman. Imperial College Business School Prize for the best overall performance on a global online MBA program, Cormac Egan Goulding. Susanna Greppel Malgrin. James Willem Heinecke. Sarah Hill. Yin Kun Vincent Huang. 
Asuka Ishikawa, Hiroki Ishima, Jadie Jin, Jacqueline Kalumna, Kevin Francis Kennedy, Kaivan Kavandi, Khalil Courage, Warren Law, Lei Yan Li, Mei Fang Lim, Maud Faisal Fadil, Jonathan Milner Matthews, Zupadra Monga, Sara Moradi, Maria Soledad Moreno, Masayuki Mori, Adebukola Olunaike Omoregi, Omulade Osibo, Kolawole Osinowo, Matthew Phillips, Alan James Rankin Ray, Venkatesh Ramasavami, Kafayat Oluwakemi Saro, Alexei Savko, Justin C. Shee Kun, Alessandro Sidore, Talula Smith, Emily Senyi Tang, Chavalampos Timis, Akira Urakawa, Nick Van Wenzel, Jakub Majic Vajoki, Jan Zhu, Ersin Yildirim, Four Pinyong, Jiejing Zhang, the David Bag Prize for Outstanding Performance in Economics, Kiao Zhang. This now concludes the Master of Business Administration graduates. Congratulations. I'd like to offer my congratulations and thanks to you, the graduating students of Imperial College Business School, for the hard work, determination, and resilience you have shown in reaching this significant moment. This past year, without a question, has been one of immense challenge. But I like to think that it has also been one of incredible opportunity. I have been truly inspired by your creativity and innovative approach to your learning experience amid this pandemic. Despite not being on campus, you have not only been diligent in your studies, but have remained committed to making valuable lifelong connections within the business school community. From navigating different time zones to using various tools to engage in student-led initiatives like Coffee Connect, and the Student Career Clubs, among many other networks. I'm particularly encouraged by your commitment to equity, diversity, and inclusion, with groups such as the Imperial MBA Women Club and the LGBTQ Plus Club. It's initiatives like these, created and led by you, that form a key part of the business school's evolving strategy to embrace diversity in all its forms. And it also ensures that staff and future students can benefit from working and studying in a more diverse, aware environment. For these, we thank you. And I'm sure you will join me in acknowledging the support of your faculty, your teachers, advisors, administrative and operations staff. This has been a team effort, and I'm so proud of the way my staff and you have come together to tackle our collective challenges very much head on. This moment helps us celebrate you and to mark the next steps you will take. You are our business leaders and innovators of tomorrow. 
But before you begin that next leg of your journey, pause a second to recognize what you have achieved already. And know that you walk into the world as part of the Imperial College Business School community. We are very proud of you and look forward to celebrating your many future achievements. Hello to you all. My name is Sam Jonah, a Ghanaian alumnus of Imperial, who has spent a lifelong career in the mining industry. I count it as a huge privilege to have been invited to offer you my congratulations on your graduation, even more so in this most unusual year. This has, of course, been a year of many challenges and some outright tragedies for many of us. Yet, despite these trying times, you have made it through to graduation at this wonderful institution. And if I may say so, this is no small achievement. And I congratulate each and every one of you. I wish I could assure you that the future will not hold out other difficult challenges. Sadly, I can't. Today's global economic realities, as a direct consequence of the COVID pandemic, conjure up images reminiscent of those from the 1929 Wall Street crash. Businesses are going under, and we are seeing unprecedented levels of unemployment, poverty, and increased inequalities. Sadly, these are the realities of the new world and the one that you are graduating into. Graduates, this must be of great concern to you as you live here today with your new academic qualifications. The emergence of the pandemic has brought the need for rapid and radical changes to the way we live and work. If I may say so, there is no longer business as usual. Firms will be looking to recruiting and working with employees whose skills and competences are matched with the exigencies of the period. The essential skills, of course, include flexibility and adaptability, tech savviness, communication and emotional intelligence, creativity and innovation, and of course, an abundance of leadership skills. I have no doubt at all that the Imperial College experience has provided all of you with these skills in abundance. I arrived at Imperial many years ago, a minor with a narrow technical focus, and gladly, gladly I left here with a far broader skill set and a much wider understanding of business. Looking back, I can see everything that I have achieved since my time at Imperial has built on what experience I had here. I also left with a network of people that has proved a lifelong source of friendship, knowledge, resilience, and inspiration. Of course, as we all know, one negative impact of the pandemic here has been the reduced opportunities for physical contact to help network building. But I know you will mitigate that through making the fullest use of ongoing digital connections with your peers and others at Imperial. So, graduates, I am confident each of you will also find that your time at Imperial has provided a great foundation, and your success in graduating in this most challenging of years shows that you have the resilience and determination that will stand you in good stead through future challenges. That said, COVID has also thrown up some wonderful opportunities for particularly for those of you who want to go into business. In my own case, after decades of focusing on mining, I am currently shifting more and more of my investments to businesses that help bring greater sustainability, particularly those that are IT-based. Of course, I see huge opportunity for growth in Africa and so for good investment returns in this shift. But the point I want to bring out is that whilst it is a challenge to learn about these new sectors, the approaches to problem solving I learned long ago at Imperial are still relevant to helping me in this. Graduates, today's ceremony is a symbolic rite of passage, ushering you onto a new pedestal. 
where you will be required to make original and innovative contributions towards the creation of brave new worlds of humane, peaceful, secure, and just inputs. I wish you well, and God bless you. Year of 2020, I salute you, and I offer you my sincerest congratulations and good wishes for the future. And as we say in Ghana, Ayuko translated meaning well done. Thank you very much indeed.